Hi, welcome to Coffee Break with Researchers. Today, we are at the Geography of Innovation Conference in Stavanga, and I'm having an actual coffee break with Roberta Ravellotti. She's a professor of economics at the University of Pavia in Italy, and also a professor at the University of Aalborg in Denmark. Coffee Break with Researchers presents you with cutting-edge insights on regional development and innovation. We ask researchers directly and in a personal manner about their work. We make scientific knowledge accessible to all. Roberta, thank you very much for accepting this invitation to my coffee break. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. And thank you very much for the invitation. And we're very happy to have you here to discuss one of your papers in the, which you examine the relationship between a global value chain and foreign investments in developing countries. Could you please tell me what the paper was about? Yes, uh, the aim of the paper is to empirically assess uh, the relationship uh, between uh, the global value chain involvement uh, and uh, the impact uh, of uh, on local sourcing of foreign investors. Uh, investors, and we do this uh, on uh, um, empirically on 19 uh, sub-Saharan African countries and Vietnam. That's indeed very interesting. And since the notion of uh, global value chain or GVC as you mentioned, is so crucial for your paper. Could you please define it? Sure. So the global value chain concept is very simple. The idea is that the production process can be divided up in different phases, um, such as uh, research and development, assembly, commercialization. And these different phases can take place uh, within one firm, or uh, they can be divided up by different, in different companies. And when these different companies are located in different countries, uh, then we have a global value chain. And um, based on this definition, which ones were your main findings? Okay, we uh, did find uh, that uh, a higher GVC involvement has uh, a, a high impact on uh, the um, local sourcing of foreign investors. Uh, but we also found that uh, the position of the country in the GVC uh, is important. We have distinguished between uh, a position upstream in the GVC, which means uh, far from the final demand, um, is uh, the is more important uh, as a, a, is more beneficial in terms of uh, the um, impact on uh, the local uh, uh, suppliers than a downstream position which is uh, uh, far from the final demand so basically in the assembly uh, phase and this is very good news for uh, African countries uh, which tend to be specialized uh, in industries such as agriculture or mining um, because uh, this gives them an opportunity for uh, a positive impact uh, of uh, uh, the foreign investor on the domestic economy at the same time uh, is also showing uh, the shortcoming of a specialization like uh, the one of Vietnam in the final phases of the value chain um, and basically in the assembly uh, phases uh, phase. We um, have been recently in Vietnam in an OECD mission and we did find indeed that uh, the huge amount of foreign investor uh, Vietnam has attracted um, have um, had a huge impact in terms of job creation but very little impact in term on the domestic economy and very the business linkages with the domestic economy are really insignificant. Those are indeed very, very important findings. I come from a developing country, so I can cover to that. And um, so which one was your main um, uh, personal motivation to do this research? I've been doing research on GVC for uh, for a long time now, but in this particular case, uh, we did uh, uh, this research uh, for the IMF, uh, the International Monetary Fund, and uh, IMF tend to be always very much interested in the macro dimension of the economy. So it was very nice uh, to get them convinced that uh, you could uh, uh, combine the macro and the micro perspective, uh, and uh, this is relevant in, in terms of understanding the implications. Uh, for, uh, uh, of the globalization for uh, developing countries. So based on your findings, which ones would you say are the key policy implications for developing countries? 
I think uh, um, that it's important to understand that there is this complementarity between GVC and uh, the um, presence of foreign investors. But it's also important to realize that it's not enough uh, to attract GVC, but it's also important to invest uh, in uh, institutions, in good institutions and uh, in uh, um, education, uh, in having uh, um, good human capital, because these uh, implies uh, attracting uh, foreign investors uh, with the intention of getting involved with the domestic economy. And so this is much better in terms of uh, the potentiality for uh, um, spillover of this uh, foreign investment uh, on the local economy. Thank you for that. Those are very, very insightful findings. So um, I wish you all the best for your future research and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. It was nice to be here. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in more details about this academic publication, find here the link below. See you next time. Bye bye.